in the beginning, and I think a lot of people that start creating videos in the beginning do this, um, they jump on to the, uh, whatever camera, a webcam, a, a camera you bought off, you know, whatever the internet, and you just start shooting video about whatever. Um, it's not necessarily relevant to your content, to your, to your industry, to your customers. I did this years ago, and I put a lot of effort into it. And in doing that, I kind of wasted my time because nobody ended up watching those videos. I look four or five years down the road at those videos that were posted, and it still only has less than 100 views. I'm thinking, why is that? Well, here's the reason why. You only want to create relevant content to your industry, right? And more so, you want to create content that makes sense to the industry that people want to know about, not just random stuff like, uh, you know, let's say you're selling furniture and for some reason you decide, you know what would be a great video? Let's make a video about, uh, about leg rests, you know? Let's put, make a leg rest video. But when you jump online and, and put it on the internet, if you, after you've made it and sold it, nobody watches it and it's because nobody's looking for it, right? So you want relevance in your industry and I think that's something that a lot of people, they don't do, they don't do very well with, which is why the internet is just superfluously filled with bullshit. So only create relevant content to your industry. Now, how do we do that? How do we know what people are, are saying and want to know and want to engage in? Well, there are three really great platforms that I personally use and that a lot of the best YouTubers out there use in order to get their content and in order to know what to talk about. So the first is Quora.com, as you see here. Now, Quora is a fairly new site. It's like the um, it's like the LinkedIn of question sites. <laughs> That's the best way I could put that. So what I like to do is go to Quora.com, type in a question that I might have about my industry, or maybe even a keyword. So if I if I do I do video production, and I would type in a word like um, camera lens, right? And a bunch of questions would pop up about certain camera lenses like people would ask you know what what kind of camera lens should i buy what's the best camera lens what's the best brand and so these questions are basically being validated right then and there people are actually asking them and i can then take that question and wrap a video around it create a video just answering that particular question and i know people will watch it at that point because they've already asked the question out there to begin with right so core.com is a great place to do that sort of research that sort of relevant content uh, and learn about what people are asking the second place is Yahoo Answers, uh, and I'm sure anyone that's asked a question in Google or Yahoo has run into this website. It's basically Yahoo's platform of questionnaires where you just you just ask a question, and again, people will just throw on their answers. The problem with Yahoo Answers is there's a lot of crap in there, too. There's a lot of just random fluff stuff, people asking really ridiculous questions, and a lot of spam. So you got to be careful when you're on there, but but ultimately, it's a really great platform for people, everyday normal people that are just out there asking simple, relevant questions. And if you're looking for your industry, whatever that might be, I would just advise you to type in the the keyword or the, the industry in general into the search bar on Yahoo Answers or Quora.com and, uh, and see what pops up. And the third one that's almost kind of counterintuitive but also extremely brilliant uh, is questions on YouTube videos. So for instance, I have an example here. I have, uh, I searched for how to work with Aperture and a video popped up about, uh, you know, video cameras and Aperture and, and photo settings. And I clicked on the video and went down to the comments at the bottom to see that there's actually real people asking real questions about Aperture and how it works and what's the what are the best settings. I can take that question, what camera is good for great aperture, and I can make a video wrapped entirely around that. Okay, so these are just little tips and tricks that you can use to start making relevant content that people will actually watch, and you won't have to waste your time or feel like you've wasted your time uh, creating content that nobody gives a shit about.